What's the rarest mineral? Hello mortals, it's Jolion Ralph, founder of Mindat.org, back again to answer one of the most annoying questions you could possibly ask me. Tell me, Jolion, they ask, what's the rarest mineral? Okay, first of all, go online and ask that question. There are a lot of people answering that question. Even the AI will answer the question and all of the answers are wrong. Some people say it's painite, a complex borate mineral from Myanmar, first discovered at the British Museum of Natural History in 1952 and known at that time from a single stone. But already the museum had a better specimen of painite in their collection drawers for decades, and they only figured this out much later. Anyway, in the early 2000s, a new find of painite was discovered in Myanmar, and now it's relatively common. Look at it and get it on eBay. It's not particularly rare, even though they say it is. What about chiotherite? It's known only from a single stone held at the LA County Museum of Natural History. 1.6 carats in weight. And this is also from Myanmar. Maybe we can call it the world's rarest gemstone, but there are quite a few minerals that are still only known from a single specimen. Which one of these is the rarest? The one which has the smallest crystals, the smallest volume of material, the one that's least likely to be found again? It doesn't really matter. You see, there's a bigger issue. You have to understand what it takes for something to be approved as a mineral. First of all, you have to prove you have something new. That is a unique combination of crystal structure and chemistry. And to do that, you have to destroy some of the specimens. So you've got to have enough of it to be able to do that. Finally, and this is really important, there has to be enough of the sample left afterwards to store it. You have to have what's known as a type specimen kept safely in an institution, usually like a museum, so that in the future, other people can study it. After all, science has to be repeatable. Now the problem is there are lots of things that are being found in quantities too small to be able to verify as a mineral. We have enough to know that it's something new, something different, but not enough to get the work done to get it proved. There are hundreds of these would-be minerals. Some might be a single grain, some might be a thin coating on something else. So these maybe minerals are too rare to be minerals. Whatever you can name as a rare mineral, there is always something out there that doesn't have a name because it's too rare to give it a name. And that's why this is a stupid question, so please don't ask it again. Thank you again for watching. Please follow. You might learn something.